God himself tells us that sacred scripture, the word of God, is living and effective. It's alive. It speaks to us always in the present moment. We should approach scripture then with fresh eyes each time. It's hard because we bring all of our experiences of that scripture to it. But if we step back and ask the Holy Spirit to help us to see it new every time, then things really happen. For example, we hear stories over and over again. We read those same stories over and over again. We don't give it a lot of thought. For example, the the story of the wedding feast at Cana, where Jesus changes water into wine. One day, not that long ago, I'm reading this scripture passage, and it dawned on me, why did Jesus not just say, let there be wine, and there would have been wine. He spoke and all of creation came into being. But he had the waiters go and fill those large water jars full of water and he transformed the water into wine and the point is that he came to transform our human life into divine life water is symbolic of human life and wine divine life he came into our world to transform what already is our fallen human nature and another example is the story of the vineyard today's gospel so why did why is it mentioned that there's a, a wine press as part of this whole vineyard? Well, isn't the, the vineyard, the, the grape vineyard, and the wine press about turning water into wine? The, the, the grapes, the water comes through the ground and through the plants and into the, into the grapes, and the grapes are crushed and, and the wine press, and water is turned into wine. And we are tenants of that. So what God is telling us is that we are actually stewards of salvation. We are part of God's plan of salvation. We are all, each one of us, whether we're a first grader at Father Marquette School or if we're an old pastor or a very old deacon, we're, we, are, we are called to be stewards of salvation. So our own souls, the eternal, our eternal souls, are in our hands. Our response to God's grace is up to us because of free will. But we are also our brother's keeper. So the salvation of our brothers and sisters are also a part of who we are as the body of Christ. We are this living, mystical body of Christ here on earth, living and effective as God's word is. Because God's word takes root in us and God's grace flows through us. We're called then to be stewards, good stewards, of the graces that God gives us. We, we, then we raise up the world, we transform the world, one person at a time, one soul at a time. That's who we are. Spirit-filled, spirit-led, and spirit-giving people. So we pray, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of us, your faithful, and then kindle within us the fire of your love. Amen.